Thank you so much for that introduction, Zane. And um, I apologize for the long list of names as well. You did it amazing. Um, lately, I've been thinking about what Christmas will look like this year around my family in rural Indiana. And I love my very large family, but this year more than usual, I feel anxious. Um, I feel anxious for how social and familial strife will emerge about the present and its issues and about the past and its traumas. Um, with this as the background, I've been reflecting on the meaning of Christ in this Advent season. And today I wanna to focus on the genealogy in the first verses of Matthew's telling of the gospel. I hear in this genealogy a way of understanding Christ that acknowledges and preserves the messiness of the past and offers a hopeful view of the future. And for me, a hopeful view of family too. I want to suggest reading this as foreshadowing the unexpected and, and the expectation reversing nature of Jesus's ministry. I hear Matthew's genealogy of Jesus to say that the Messiah may be different than what the author's audience was expecting and may be different than what we can expect. I normally struggle when I encounter lists of names to imagine the significance. What is this genealogy doing here? Um, what does it say for today? Looking closely at these names, though, I realize that something seems strange. Um, Jesus' lineage in Matthew includes Tamar, Rahab, Ruth, um, Bathsheba, who is hidden behind the title of Uriah's wife. These characters and many others disrupt any imagination of a perfect family tree. There are many more details and issues than, that come up than I can address here. Still, I stumble on the narrative in Genesis of Tamar who is the daughter-in-law of Judah. Um, their children are the ancestors to Jesus. I struggle with the surrogacy in Ruth and wonder if Naomi exploits that arrangement. Um, the text seems to indicate it. The difficult stories continue as the genealogy calls them to mind. Um, each one of those names has a person behind it whose life has trauma and joy and the things that make us human. Um, but the themes of brokenness and trauma unite these names in this genealogy as much as their roots lead towards Jesus in the narrative. Um, and so I kind of ask, in what way is this good news? An idealized understanding of Christ that is elevated beyond us at the right hand of God is hard to reconcile with what this genealogy tells us. Aware of my own emotional response to the past and this scripture and what it brings for me to wrestle with, I wonder if the tension in the text anticipates a reimagination of Christ for the first century followers of Jesus and for today. This lineage does not have me expect a Messiah who is king and rules over chosen people, but a Jesus whose lineage is fractured and imperfect and a Christ who is human who is in our broken families too. I hear this to say that brokenness is not imperfection or incompletion either, that fractures are part of the story and we are whole in it with Christ. From this perspective, the Messiah is not set up in Matthew to reign on earth and the lineage is not idealized beyond human experience. Maybe this anticipates the reversal of expectations throughout Jesus's ministry. I hear unexpected references in the genealogy as analogous to the reversal of the social and familial norms, both in Jesus's day and today. And if we take seriously this as good news, then I hear the good news to be that Jesus, I hear that, that Christ is there in the middle of the messiness. But I'm also reminded whom Jesus calls his family in the scripture. We are reminded of this past, but we are not limited to it. Our family is our neighbors, those around us. I hear in this genealogy an invitation to imagine a Christ that is hopeful because of the fractured past and living into the diversity around us. Um, I will carry this hope in the family I find around, in those around me here in Texas, rather far from home, um, because I have been needing to lately especially but also hope that this way of viewing this genealogy helps 
you need to see beyond the anxiety that these coming weeks of Christmas may bring. Um, and maybe for many of us, it does bring anxiety to be around the family. Um, I pray that we can all remember the past so we trust in the unexpected and find hope in this season as well. Thank you.